Public Distribution System PDS. The Public Distribution System PDS, is a government-led initiative aimed at providing subsidized food grains to nearly two-thirds of the population in India who are below the poverty line. The PDS involves multiple steps, including registration of millers with the government, procurement of food grains from farmers at minimum support price MSP, the processing of grains by millers, and distribution of grains to fair price shops, schools, colleges, and charitable institutions for beneficiaries. However, the PDS also faces challenges such as unpredictable supply, wastage due to logistic issues, and administrative obstacles. So how do these challenges come into being? The challenges faced by the PDS include the unpredictable supply of food grains due to factors such as unfavorable weather, water availability, and crop diseases, resulting in inadequate demand fulfillment. Additionally, wastage occurs during the storage and transportation, leading to pilferage and delays in collecting grains from warehouse. There are multiple administrative inefficiencies, such as difficulty in obtaining ration cards, irregular opening of FPS, frequent stockouts, distribution of inferior quality grains, lack of awareness of entitlements, circulation of ghost cards, and the absence of grievance redressal channels also hinders the effectiveness of the PDS system. The proposed solution to address these challenges in the PDS system is to implement blockchain technology to track food grains and record key data throughout the supply chain. The blockchain system would store data such as price, MSP, quantity delivered at each stage, and other relevant information. By creating a transparent and tamper-proof end-to-end system, the blockchain can enable payments to farmers and millers facilitate the identification of inefficiencies and inaccuracies in the supply chain, and improve utilization of grains while reducing wastage due to rotting. The system would also use QR codes or RFID tags to uniquely identify bags of grains and store transaction metadata regarding quantity and quality. So how does this system work? Ledger Architecture the Hyperledger Sawtooth framework would be used to implement the blockchain-based PDS system, providing a flexible and scalable architecture. Data Management The ledger would store key data related to millers, farmers, warehouse, beneficiaries, and the government in a structured manner using smart contracts, which are self-executing scripts that validate and update information on the blockchain. Smart Contracts Smart contracts would automate and enforce the business logic of the PDS system, validating eligibility, storage capacity, commodity quality, and generating payment slips. Unique identification. QR codes or RFID tags would be used for the unique identification of grains at different stages of the supply chain, enabling accurate tracking and detecting discrepancies. Payments and alerts, the system would generate payment slips for millers and farmers based on the quantity and quality of grains delivered, reducing delays and ensuring prompt remittance. The system would also send alerts for grains lying in godowns beyond a certain period to prevent wastage. Transparency and accountability, the blockchain-based PDS system would provide transparency and accountability by maintaining an immutable record of all transactions and data. This would enable stakeholders, including the government, to have a holistic view of the supply chain, track stock availability, and ensure compliance with rules and regulations. The decentralized nature of the blockchain would also reduce the chances of fraud, corruption, and data tampering, leading to increased transparency and trust in the PDS system. Overall, the proposed blockchain-enabled PDS system would utilize the Hyperledger Sawtooth framework, smart contracts, unique identification through QR codes or RFID tags, and provide transparency, accountability, and increased trust in the PDS system through accurate tracking, prompt payments, and alerts, leading to efficient and reliable management of the supply chain. 
The implementation of blockchain technology in the PDS system is expected to bring several benefits, including prompt payment to farmers and millers, accurate tracking of stock at different locations, and identification of pilferages. With blockchain, delays in payments to farmers and millers can be reduced as bills can be generated and payments can be initiated on receipt of commodities at different stages of the supply chain. The system would provide a holistic view of available stock and demand, enabling effective utilization of grains and transportation from surplus to deficit locations. Additionally, the immutable nature of data on the blockchain would help in detecting and alerting about pilferages, leading to improved transparency and accountability in the PDS system. Hope you like this video and check out the next use case.